ladies and gentlemen, you know, this story really caught my eye. There is a black man in Texas that's on the city council in the city. And he declared a black state of an emergency. And now the people there, it must be a, a lot of white people in this area because they're trying to recall him for making a valid point about the police shootings of black citizens. And because he made a point about that and saying Texas needs a black state of emergency, which I agree with, they are now trying to remove this man from office. And my question is, where are the black citizens in Texas? Why are you not standing up for this man? Why are you allowing these people to recall him like that without any challenges? So let's get into this story. Texas councilmen who declared a black state of emergency could face recall election. And this came out December 28th, 2019. The only black councilman. Okay, well, there's your problem right there. <laughs> there's your problem right there. The only black councilman in a Texas city could face a recall election after he proposed declaring a black state of emergency following several incidents in the state in which black people were shot by police. Supporters of recalling McKinney, Texas, I take it that it must be a low population of black people in McKinney. City council member Lashadion Shemwell have said they granted enough signatures for a recall vote. The Dallas Morning News reported Friday. The recall effort was reportedly launched after Shemwell proposed declaring a black state of emergency, according to the paper. He also reportedly encouraged people of color to avoid visiting the state. Not bad advice not bad advice. If, if you have a high number of cops that are shooting black unarmed people, telling people not to come to the state is good advice as far as I'm concerned. Just like I tell people, if you are a foreigner, don't come here because it's dangerous here. And it is dangerous. It's the truth. And him telling people don't come here because of the shootings, he's right. That's good advice. Shemwell's opponents say the recall is in response to his statements about racism and police use of force. Okay, is his statement false? Those of you that are trying to recall him, is his statement false about black people getting shot by cops in Texas? Is it false? It's been an ongoing issue with Mr. Shemwell's behavior and disregard for law enforcement. Ah, okay, so this man has been very vocal about what these cops are doing to the black citizens in Texas, and they're tired of listening to it. So all of these non-black members of the city council are tired of hearing it. That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about, y'all. They're tired of hearing this from this man. He is speaking the truth about law enforcement in Texas, and they don't like it. So they're trying to remove him from office for that reason. He shouldn't be removed for that reason. You need to be given a hard time for what is happening to black citizens, not only in Texas, but all over this country. As far as I'm concerned, there should be a black state of an emergency nationwide in America with all of these killings of unarmed people across this country, especially in the black community. I agree with Mr. Shemwell. Okay. 
organizer Jolie Williams told the Dallas Morning News. So this Jolie Williams, because he's the only black council member. So I don't know who, I'm going to look up who she is. Well, anyway, um, she told Dallas Morning News, well, there you go right there. After backlash, Shemwell said that his comments were not an indictment of all officers, the paper reported. McKinney is about 30 miles from Dallas and about 60 miles from Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. In October, a Tatiana Jefferson was shot by a Fort Worth police officer while in her home. And that was completely uncalled for too, especially a cop that never identified himself as a police officer. And again, I go back to that neighbor that was concerned. You should have just took your butt across the street. We in the black community should know by now, calling the police is a fatal mistake when you could have gone across the street to see what was happening and to make sure the neighbors that you said you care about were okay. How much effort would that have taken to walk across the street? But I agree with Mr. Shemwell, and I don't believe he should be recalled for calling out law enforcement in Texas for what they are doing to black citizens. He shouldn't be recalled for that reason. But ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. Like I said, I think it should be a black state of an emergency in all 50 states at this point. Not only for the shootings, but for the mass incarceration for all of these bogus ass reasons that they're giving. That should be addressed too. But see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens to a person that gets into elected office and they are speaking out on the behalf of the black community. This is what they get. They get punished, just like cops that speak out against all of the racism and injustice that, that's going on. They get retaliated on. This is the wicked ass society that we are in. If you try to do good, you get a barrage of evil coming after you. Because the fact that they are recalling this man for speaking out on a very legitimate topic and they're getting the signatures, that says it all right there about McKinney. And as far as I'm concerned, this should give McKinney a big black eye for trying to Shield your faces from the truth. I will never visit McKinney, Texas. Stay away from McKinney, Texas. I'll, I'll repeat what the councilman said. The police down there are probably horrible to the black citizens. That's why he's speaking out. But y'all, please tell me what you think of this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.